Alright, so we're back. Um, as you can see, some progress has been made with our panel here. So I'm going to take this off real quick. As you can see, I followed through. I got rid of all the ribs on the inside and in the middle and the top. And what I'm left with is a flat surface. So I took my weller and I flattened out everything. So I know that none of these little bumps, these bulges here, um, are higher than any of these. Okay. So did a little math and I came to the conclusion that I can fit exactly 20 of these side by side within this grid. Um, that's not too bad. I was hoping to get 22. Uh, they only put out 0.55 volts a piece rated at 3 and 3 quarters amps and I believe uh, I really wanted to get 12 volt panel out of this so I would do a little quick math 20 panels times 0.55 volts and you get 11 so I'm one volt shy of my 12 volt go however I'm hoping that these panels might be slightly better than half a volt 0.55 volts a piece um, 0.6 volts and that would put me closer to my 12 volt goal um, ideally or actually the end game is to have two of these so I could have a total of 24 volts um, at 3 amps at, actually at 3 amps or 12 volts at 7 amps uh, depending if I put them in series or parallel however uh, on to the next step so I really don't want to just lay these down on these plastic ribs here so you can see they rattle um, and I really don't want to glue them to this hard plastic here uh, I felt that I had to put something above this and I'm thinking well what do I have at my disposal so that to put on top of this that I can rest the final cells on when they're completed and as you can see there's a piece of this tablecloth missing. So I cut a piece of this tablecloth, which is a cotton poly blend. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, it's out of focus. Um, but it's it's pretty good. It's good stuff, it's really strong. It's got some thickness to it, but nowhere near that of canvas. Well, it depends, um, but it's pretty thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm going to lay this down in the bed. Then I got my super glue. Get back and focus here. Then I got my super glue. And basically, I'm just going to take the super glue, put dabs here, and then I'm going to pull this tight across the whole panel. So the cells have a nice smooth yet soft and giving for a surface to rest on where they can bend and flex and when it's being transported they're not directly hitting some hard plastic um, so they should have more, some nice longevity. Um, I don't expect this to catch fire or melt or anything like that. It should be good. If not it'll be a $63 lesson because that's how far I am in this project. Um, the cost of the panels. This was free. This was sitting in my buddy's barn. He's actually got 10 more of these because he had several of these shelves. This works out well. We're going to be making more panels. Um, this tablecloth snagged at a dollar store or, or from a clearance rack. I remember this thing was less than five bucks. It's a huge tablecloth. I can probably, I can probably make those 10 solar panels just out of the cloth that I have now on this tablecloth. So I'm going to glue this guy down and in the next video we're going to start getting into the soldering of these and the arrangement and then I'll probably stick some bus wires out of the side maybe throw in a couple of capacitors for inrush current um, but we'll get all that into later videos I just wanted to give you a quick status update so there's that and just don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will definitely continue on with this project thank you